this boy, she got to give me this opportunity to be the last teacher. I have worked so hard to get to the top of the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared universe. I had sex with the grandpa from the third episode. I made his head pop like a cherry. There is nothing those other losers could teach you that I, I couldn't teach you. Where do you think they learned it from? Warren learned from me. The train learned alcoholism from me. Todney and liberal Larry, they got their eyes from me. The coffin learned how to come out of holes from me. And the briefcase, rest in peace briefcase, I, I don't know what happened. It just kind of fell apart. So let me do this. I've got this, All right? All right, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. We've gone through a lot of journeys here on the Hobo Ryan reacts to Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. And we had we had a lot of fun learning experiences from all sorts of different Hobo Ryan characters, like That's Safari Ryan, biblical... Diglett Ryan, Mass Murderer Ryan, UFO Ryan, and Dead Ryan. And all of them have taught us a very valuable lesson. That every time we think it's over and creativity is dead, we go to shows like this to see it at its finest. And that all it takes is being inspired by wonderful shows like this to truly grasp creativity. So remember, folks, if you ever want to be as creative as this show, all you have to do is follow in their shoes. And drink the essence of the characters. So thank you, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. You have made me a god among men. I cannot be destroyed. Hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Rhyme Reacts. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is the finale of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, a series that has been, by definition, the biggest, longest, craziest roller coaster I have ever been on. A roller coaster that I don't even know where or when it's going to end. I don't know anything. That last episode left me with only questions, no answers. So I am ecstatic to finally sit down and watch what the creators of this amazing show has put together for the finale. All five episodes before this were masterpieces and truly some of my favorite watchings I've ever done on this channel. So I cannot wait to finally sit down and finish this amazing series. So to the creators of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, thank you for the web series that you have created. And thank you for this amazing television show that truly has inspired me and has rejuvenated me in doing YouTube. You have made one of the greatest series I have ever seen, and I am proud of you for being able to get a web series and make something on television that's even greater. And I hope that more people would watch this series and celebrate it as much as I have. Of course, folks, like check out the original link, more for original content creator. You can find it on channel4.com. Um, I don't know if I should be here. I feel like, lady, don't you touch my handle! Is she gonna do the intro? You're doing it too fast! Too fast! Slow it down! Slow it down! They're gonna throw up! Oh my god! Oh, I feel like it's gonna end with the Simpsons opening with the way the house looks from this angle! Okay, one across. The clue is opposite of down. Two letters. Hmm, that's a tricky one. <laughs> down. Try above. Above. A. B. Of. No. Hey, I know. <laughs> I feel so off. I don't feel right. I don't feel right, guys. I legitimately don't feel right. I didn't get my three of a song. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just... I just gotta... I just gotta... There's three of us. Okay, good enough. Actually, instead of, uh, you know, starting up the episode again, I feel like there's a mystery to the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared universe that nobody ever talks about. Like, the real hidden mystery. Not this, where are they? Are they in purgatory? What's going on? No, 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 no. The very, very, very important question. Where's Scrumpus? 
Go ahead and answer. I'm waiting. You've got at least a couple more seconds to write a comment where Scrumpus is. And if I see any comments saying, who's Scrumpus? Send them to the void. But anyways, I'm talking about the cat. Because one of the things I noticed in the first episode was they have a picture of a black and white cat on their fridge. And also, down below, they actually have cat food sitting down there with I'm just making up Scrumpus because I can't tell what the rest of it says. And a water bowl. Yet, a cat never shows up once in this entire show. I'm only guessing that this picture on the fridge is, is the, the alleged Scrumpus. But it is a weird little thing in the background that they just have, like, little information about having a cat yet it never shows up or maybe it's just like roy and it's just like <laughs> just for like a millisecond peaked in like oh hell no it's when you can't remember that over the top of you there's bigger ones that are bigger and bigger and then over the top of it there's a smaller one of all thanks of yellow guy you know that. <laughs> this is why i sat next huh? to you in school it's not going to fit <laughs> I tried though. I'm gonna have to shred the whole thing now. Personal home shredder. Yeah, maybe it's best if you just stick. I don't like it when I notice some background okay. don't mention and then they bring it up and now it's like they're What? You're just putting the plates in the bin. No. Yeah. They're in the cupboard. Yeah, the cupboard. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is it yellow guy's small lines that are so unfunny? If you wrote the joke, it wouldn't be funny. Like, if you wrote the joke, yellow guy says, wow, and then says the name of something, it's not funny. But the voice actor of yellow guy is so effing good that when he says, no, yeah. <laughs> like, I've heard that joke before, but he nailed it out of the ballpark. I do not. I just... It's very rare that a joke that I've heard before many times gets me that bad, but it's fantastic. I also paused because the paper shredder is from, if I remember correctly, the very first episode, Jobs. So I don't know if that's a callback or if it's all going to connect together. I mean, also, you can put the trash can too because that's where he uh, got dumped his memories or something. I think that was in the third episode with Todney. <laughs> Does anyone else want anything shredded? <laughs> what about this? What is that? Doesn't look important. It's a bill for something called electricity. A bill? Who cares? We won't find that. <laughs> electricity is silly stuff that ought to be free. I think you might be forgetting something, friend. Huh? Oh! Do not let the demon out of the box. Last time I let the demon out of the box, a blue guy named Jerry came out and he started licking my kneecaps. Don't you like how literally they said in a meeting, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we had a shot of a puppet like that? We just dropped plates on his head. I think legitimately the director of this web series literally went, what shot have we never done before? And let's do it. Because it seems every episode they want to do a new camera angle to make you feel a certain way. No, 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 no. He's got little plug feet. I hear you guys don't think electricity is cool, huh? Is that the deal? Um, yes. <laughs> leaving then. Oh my god. Is the connection from the episode six and this one literally the little plug man electricity? Oh my god, am I gonna call it? Alright, I'm excited now. What the hell are you gonna do with them? <laughs> On a phone that was just made out of rocks and soil. No, probably not. Go on, try it. No, why? <laughs> okay, fine. Try it. All right. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't work. Hello. Oh, no, no, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello? Right, guy. No, no. Oh, All right. that's because my real phone is inside. You see? <laughs> not really. That's not true. I can hear him through my clay end. It's one of those little small ones, you know. I don't know if it's blue, but I'm not, I'm no scientist. I always assumed it was some kind of natural phenomenon. Some sort of weather or something. <laughs> He's not technically wrong. He's just using those like 80s. And I'm talking about literally 80s. 
mentality. So what about the radio? That's right, electricity. And what about my spinter? Batteries actually. Wires. Electricity. And what about our pet animal? Well, let's have a look. No. Oh! Oh no! Wait, there are some wires. So why don't we just call okay. this one a maybe? Okay. Oh, what about this boring? That was the same wire that was in Yellow Guy's head. What is going on? Are these literally replacement actors? Are they freaking robots? That's weird that they would have a second uh, part where something had wires in it. I thought it was just going to be ripping in half and no. It's not electric at all. Oh! By the way, technically up. <laughs> oh man. I hope I can find something I enjoy as much as sh Duck Guy puts things in shredders. Yes, yes. And, and the shredders. <laughs> I totally get that, by the way. I was that kid who my mom would be like, can you shred some things? I'd be like, I love doing that. Is that old yellow guy? Is that old duck guy's model? That's just a different angle. Oh no, I may not have got the three of us song, but my body is jiggling for music again. I feel like I got boobs. That's not good. Just like me. Wait, wait. Nothing has been plugged in? I thought you had to be plugged in to be electric. You're not plugged in. <gasps> I knew it. Neither was the radio. Because it was... Real, it was <laughs> <laughs> no, no, silly. What do you got on your neck? My battery. There you go. See, we figured it out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just like me. No, stupid. You're not run by batteries. Isn't he stupid? He sure is. 535, 321, go. No, I am have batteries. See? Oh, God. They reek. Oh. My. God. I. Was. Right. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta take a walk after this. I gotta take a walk after this. You're shocking, decapitated Santa Claus show. He's shocking him. He fell down. He's he's fucking got diabetes. So you're telling me Yellow Guy is a robot? He is. He's either a robot or a cyborg. But he's wow, 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 wow. That is a lot of information that I can only respond with. Wow, battery. You changed those, friend. Changed them? Into what? No, you need to put fresh ones in every now and then to keep the that... that nice and and the <laughs> that <laughs> That's a real bro right there. Look at that. Much better. Thanks, man. Guys, hold on a sec, man. God, those nice. rusty batteries are so well, Is like, I don't know what he put up. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh! Oh my god, he's gonna remember now. The reason he couldn't remember is because he had rusty batteries. What the heck? So, do you feel any different? I feel weird. He's on the other side of the mirror. He's on the other side of the mirror. I have cheeky snakes for hands. <laughs> Yellow guy was running off drunk batteries oh, this whole time. It was up. What? What are you talking about? One across. It was up. See? He finished it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a genius. Wait, no, damn it! I wanted to read that. God ah, dang it! I gotta go back, and it's gonna ruin the whole thing. But I don't care. I gotta read what it says. God. 
Dang it! None of this is important! Not a single one of them! I thought I'd look- every time I look at it normally, I get some conspiracy theory, but all I got is Bird and Go! And Sonya, who's a great Mortal Kombat character. And Duncan Andrews. Who's Duncan Andrews, huh? If I type Duncan Andrews on the Google machine, am I gonna get some answers? No. <laughs> no. Oh, there's Roy. I found it. Oh, thank God I found it. Roy's in there. Ah. Oh. Woo! It wasn't it wasn't a waste of time, boys. We got him. We got him. You silly bitch. Oh, uh, which is probably like the wrong answer. He's just remembering things. I don't think anything else. Pies, not no. Aspect was a reference to something. Biscuit. There's literally no biscuit. I'm just I'm looking for shit that's not there. All right, good. Finished. Finished the whole thing. He has become yeah, it was pretty simple, a really. god. Oh, and I actually made up a little spatial distribution based puzzle of my own, see? Oh! <gasps> oh! Uh, uh, what? No, they're not. They're from something. They're from something. Oh my god, I saw those symbols from something. Oh my god, I don't remember what they're from, though. You shouldn't do this. Was that the caveman symbols? Also, have you guys had a proper look at this bill? I did a lot. What? It doesn't even say what tariff we're on. I did a lot, a lot. Stop showing off. I can make up words too, you know. <laughs> Watch. Jugurta tariff. Damn it. Well, <laughs> special playlist you make. Also, it got. It was started. I don't like. <laughs> that guy started with Jew, by the way. Oh, it was. That was a Kanye <laughs> special coming up soon. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You know what? That kind of thing seems to happen a lot around here. It might be worth us getting some content insurance. We should have done it years ago, Stop really. Stop making up words! Someone <laughs> say insurance! Oh! Here we go. Back to normal. You can take it from me. You I like how you have your money sticking out like you're a stripper. That makes me feel comfortable around you. Wildly misleading. <laughs> what? Well, look. In the simplest terms, an insurance transaction involves the insured assuming a guaranteed and known relatively small loss in the form of payment to the insurer in exchange for the insurer's <laughs> promise to compensate. You hear this funny shit, low robot buddy? But you must know that. <laughs> it's almost like you're teaching me. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. Yes. But but I, I, I'm, I'm going to go, though. <laughs> <laughs> I see what's going on here now. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. He switched the batteries. Now he's the teacher. This is so freaking fascinating. He switched the batteries. So either he's got teacher batteries or he's now smarter. Therefore, he is the teacher now. He doesn't need random things to teach him because he already knows everything. Oh, this episode is so intriguing and we've only watched eight minutes. There's a lot of questions from this. Does that mean Yellow Guy was originally the teacher all along, but his batteries worn out? Did his batteries get corroded because he went into the goo? I don't know. These are all extremely, extremely interesting things. <laughs> Whose hoodie is that? Is that yours? Um, we can still see you. None of this seems right, does it? They just turn up and tell us what to think. Where did it even come from? I don't know, man. I'm having I'm having problems like Duck Guy. Just get back on track. Alright? What about the table clock? Whoa. Oh. 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 What the hell? Why, why do you have, have we gone wrong? I don't think so. Did, it doesn't feel wrong. Did we always have bee sting cheeks? But they seem upset with us. Hmm. I, I don't. Yeah. Did they always have Maybe that? You all right? In charge of us. <laughs> nope, ain't happening. Maybe they never were. Oh. What in the hell? Hey! You're trying to look at your reflection. <laughs> That's a bit of fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <coughs> Please help! 
This episode's murdering me. Oh, the lighting. Look at the lighting. Look at the way the shadow's there to make it look better for the puppet. Oh my god, that shot. The visual director is a goddamn genius. That is well, such a beautiful picture. See you later then. I don't think I've ever seen him use his legs before. And he fell out of a car. Don't rub your hand on that. That's very... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay. Commercial time. I guess I'll take a sip because I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to resuscitate myself after this. I can't unsee his temples, ma'am. I don't know why I noticed it much more this episode. He looks like a chipmunk. Big boy room. <laughs> hey, don't go in my room. That's my room, buddy. What? I'm so bamboozled and confuzzled, and I'm pretty sure at the end of this, I'm going to turn into old yellow guy. And all I can commentate from now on on anything is... Wow, it's red guy and duck guy. I didn't see this one coming. What in the hell is those puppets, dude? What is going on? Duck guy is legitimately freaking me out with that picture. His eyes look like they're real eyes. It almost looks like orange, like annoying orange, you know, where they just put like real eyes on it. It's not, it's not that. What? They're smart now? Big boy room? They finally evolved? He's got freaking glasses made of sticks? They don't even have any glasses in it? Meaning he's still kind of stupid because he's wearing glassless glasses? I'm freaking out, man! What is that? Is that a like a vibrator in a jaw? How'd he get it in there? Does it have to vibrate to get out? How's the lady going to be happy afterwards? Huh. Okay. Uh, I still have nine minutes left. Oh, man. I'm going to be honest. This has felt way, 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 way longer than 11 minutes so far, by the way. I realize that I'm, you know, pausing, so that's why it feels longer. A derg! But um, it feels like I've been here for like two, three hours. It's not. It's been less than an hour. Okay, let's... Oh, there you are. Oh, good! <laughs> good one. They turned into the monster from Little Nightmares! That's great! Yeah, we're big boys. Big boys. Oh, I don't like... No, 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 no. We're quite big. Yeah. And we're so big, we don't just sit around and learn about <gasps> one subject at a time. Yeah, that's for dummies and wimps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do two at once. Right. Technically, uh, we well, did two at once as well. It was electricity well, and insurance. The boundaries. Yeah, but two oh, at... That's right. Boundaries are important. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> hands with somebody else. But sometimes you need to keep them to yourself. <laughs> that's not what he meant. What? And I that's why he's he the meant. worst one of them all. Sedimentary? What? No. Oops. Oh, come oh, on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, the rock got there. That's literally the exact same rock he had in his hand from the last episode. Exploring our bodies can be natural and fun. And there are three different types of rocks to know. What? Wow. Really? Is that true? Oh no. Oh no, the show's teaching me. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Truly fascinating looking back at those times when I was so stupid. Thank God I finally evolved into my truest state of being. Cube Ryan. I have learned so much in this state. I have solved poverty. I have ended racism. I have beat up every politician. And I've made friends with this tiny gorilla. You know what, Stan? I'm feeling a little nostalgic. And I think now that I've learned everything there is to learn, there's only one thing I haven't done. Finish watching my little... P <gasps> oh my god. I've devolved into a monster! Kids, this is a message from Hobo Ryan. 
don't watch furry porn. <laughs> wow, what a bit. Right, <laughs> shut up. I hate their hands so much. Please kill these things. Bring back the old friends. I legitimately, they're freaking creeping me out. Oh my god, it's like giving me anxiety. He can see him again. He can see him again. He can see him like Red Guy saw him in the last web series. Yeah, don't ever go in there ever again, by the way. Those those two, I'm never we're never talking about them ever again. And who needs this boring coaster when we could have this electronic <laughs> smart coaster? You have good. <laughs> it also checks your I feel good again. Signs of diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> cool. And what good are these oh. pathetic non-electric grapes? And we have these cyber grapes. <laughs> and I'm actually glad that the person who gave us this boring non-electric urn died. <laughs> <laughs> who was that? Whose face was that? Ryan, go back. It's important. I'm not doing it now because my brain's melted. <laughs> You electric creature, isn't he funky? Cool. And he never dies. Oh. Where's the cat then? Stop answering my questions also. It's freaking me out. Because you didn't pay the electric bill, bud. It has gone dark now. You're that red guy from the past pulled the plug. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I'm so confused. Bigger boys room. Wow, how big is this? Hello? <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, what a cool yeah. guy! Hmm. Okay. They got cool. Well, We're all right. See, we were learning about electricity. I completed a crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God damn! I forgot that. I gotta cross my legs now too. Oh, what? Don't you can't. Get on with what? Oh, He's got a drone on his hand. That's so cool. Yeah, I love this show so it. much. That's the experiment. Sorry, what do you mean? Well, there's no point in learning about something without putting it to you. Is that stain? So, for example, you were saying something oh, about no. electricity. Oh, yes. no. Yes, but so let's put it to use. Oh! Hmm, interesting. So what? It's some kind of guinea pig? We don't know what it is. We've done so many tests on it. Could be anything, to be honest. Can you, can you stop? Is Stain their creation? Is that Stain? Is that why Stain showed up? Is Stain actually these guys who was upstairs the whole time that snuck out and integrated themselves into the cast? Or is this just a blob <laughs> with the same color? And I'm racist. Oh my god, his eyes are webcams. I stopped this bit in the first one because there was so much. There were so many visuals that wowed me. But they did it again. They did it again. Ladies and gentlemen, some people usually get one creative idea in a show that's really like, oh, that's neat. This has done so many freaking visuals for this last episode. All the technology that they came up with, the puppetry on the first Smart Boys was off the charts. It's almost like, um, I can't really describe it. I want to say Dark Labyrinth, but I really haven't seen that movie. I can't, I'm trying to think of Jim Henson movies where he tried to make more realistic monstrosities. Wow, just wow on those designs and the long arms being creepy as heck. And now you have Red Guy being a drone with webcam eyes and he is a crystal with a human body and Duck Guy is like a freaking Godzilla villain. Wow, I envy their minds because they are flipping geniuses for creating even one of these. And they have made at least five or six things in this episode that made me truly go, wow. Showing the evils of learning too much. Oh, these are actually <laughs> truly <laughs> evil. Has to be something else. Doesn't there? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, why don't you experiment on each other? <laughs> so, would you be keen? You're not to touch me. <laughs> well, they're dead. Well, this isn't that fun, is it? I can't make out where I am in the room like this. <laughs> what if I'm standing in an embarrassing area? <laughs> Never I don't want the fighting. series to end because that means that guy will disappear up. forever. How long have you had a phone for? This for emergencies only. Did you? Now, where are we? He found it in the clay phone bun. Hmm. There's more stairs. How many stairs are in this house? There's two floors. Oh God! If that, I don't like that because now I feel like I'm gonna see yellow guy look at me like that, and he's gonna kill me in my sleep. Ooh. What if there's even bigger boys in that room? Batteries can be replaced, but some things stay the same. No matter how we twist and turn, we're still dancing in chains. Are you just going to stand there? Who are you? My name is Mason. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. That was your car? I'm sitting in a tiny chair for a little while because I have to contemplate what's going on here. Did Leslie just get them towed? Is that what happened? She called the police because they stole her car. Diabolical. Whoa, whoa, wow. An old lady. <laughs> uh, are you like the Mr. Rogers to this universe? Also, lady, you're like 80, and yet you're coming up with... You created Todney then. What was going on with your life when you made Todney? Does she have tattoos on her neck? Oh, it's nice to meet you. she didn't say. It. She said, "Nice to meet you." I don't. Oh, please stop fingering the ivory and saying shit like that. Also, which one's your favorite? The well-dressed one, or? Oh, oh, oh! The shovel that killed him. The thing that exploded. The batteries. Wait, did you replace his batteries? Is that his original batteries that you stole and put shitty ones in? Or is that something else? What is going on, lady? No. Build all this, did you? That's a good question. Oh What's my god. I can't look at her face and her tattoos. <laughs> Freaking Mike Tyson's mom over here. What's going on? Why are you laughing? Because it's so funny. <laughs> Gosh. You still can't see the funny side. I tell you what. Listen, you Leslie. Help me tidy things up around here, and I'll help you. If there's one thing I have noticed in the series, it's the funny side. Promise. Promise. God, I hate you, Leslie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him good, Leslie. Got him good. That was a good. That was a good one. He is dead! Oh, well, oh, sorry. So much for that theory for the last episode of him being the only one not to die. Do we? They made sure to think you know he's dead. Oh, you! Oh, boy, we are... S hey, sorry to interrupt your lovely viewing program from future Robot Ryan. Time child. He said time child. I just wanted to I just wanted to be time child. Which I'm putting my money on is gonna be the most important character that saves him in the end. The only person who can bring them back. <laughs> if you do that, I will support you to the ends of these earth. But while rewatching this, I realized something I completely and utterly missed. Roy is completely dead in this scene and I missed it 100%. I have no clue what that means, but I had to point that out because that is very important. I'll talk more about what I think it might be in the, the future comment section, but to be honest, I don't really know. 
Oh, wait. Here we go. They certainly made sure to connect it. Hi, pals. I knew you'd find me eventually. <laughs> We've got a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> we got like five sec, like three minutes left, and they still get the old toilet joke in there. They're like, make sure we get that. God damn it. <laughs> uh, sorry. Don't worry. I always <laughs> make sure that I have plenty of backup. <gasps> there. Now everything's in its proper place. Hmm. I shall have to get that fixed. Now. So he You wanted this, didn't you? The, the Holy Bible? <laughs> That's why what? Why? What? What? Did I? <laughs> you are just too funny. Run along now. You've got plenty of reading to do. Can't I Who? stay here with you? Oh no. You're not my real son! <laughs> Only joking. You don't belong up here. You fuck a puppet? <laughs> Miss, we gotta have a word. I realize that we're very close to the ending and we still have like the, the moo, moo, moo says the cow part of the end of the song. But you, wait, 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 hold on. Did you fuck a Muppet? Cause that would imply you fucked Roy and he is very much a Muppet. No matter how I look at him from every angle, Roy is a Muppet and you dang got down dirty with it with your dang wrinkly old skin and you birthed another Muppet from your vagina which is a very easy task compared to a human body because you could just kind of squish it up and take it out. Are you his mom or not his mom? What is going on? Are you implying... But then again, it could literally just be because she created this world. Like, she created all these puppets and she's, like, replaced them. So, technically, she's the creator. Therefore, she is her mom. But maybe not the mom. Maybe she didn't create it. Is she related to Roy in some way? Oh, no. You're going to leave me with all these questions and you're not going to give me any answers, are you? He's just going to show me a book that's going to have some sort of secrets. And it's going to end up being, like, some sort of Kojima thing where we had to figure out symbols and what they mean to actually know what's inside the book. Shoot. <laughs> also, uh, I mean this in the kindest way possible, miss. You are legitimately terrifying. They did an amazing job on, like, the scars and how her eyebrows are, like, stitches. And, like, the they, they painted her face up to make her look more ghostly. Her outfit. Her outfit is very important. See, the thing about her outfit, her, her almost pimp-like children's outfit. <laughs> she's about to slap a bitch. It's so big that it makes her neck look tiny inside the suit and her head look tinier, which makes it scarier. There's something about, like, the neck not being fully around the, the collar or something inside of it. I don't know what it is about that, but it is a dreadfully terrifying thing. Just something about her... Other than the fact that, like, she seems fake. Uh, everything. Every oh, my God. Leslie. Not a fan, Leslie. Not a fan. Though I do agree in your taste of humor. You're 100% right. This show has been one of the funniest shows ever. And I'm sure you're going to want to show your friends, aren't you? Yeah. It is a book. Off you pop. What, what does that mean? He's, God, he's so British. Look at, look at the way, look at her neck around that thing. There's something about it. And I don't want to be mean because like, but everything's so loose. Dude, Leslie is a scary puppet master, man. Hello? <laughs> hey, what happened to your phone? I'm saving the battery. <laughs> saving the That's battery the most relatable thing of all. I want to use the calculator. <laughs> anyway, we may as well get used to living in the dark. Yeah. What? Well, it's just not that great, is it? I wouldn't yeah. mind looking at the house again and maybe looking at you. Really? You like looking at me? Um, yeah. I suppose I do. Well, I like looking at you too. Oh, yeah? Thanks for that. What about him? <laughs> Guys? Oh. What's, what's happening? There you are. Greedy battery hog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's something I need to show you. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no. 
And that's why we can't live without electricity. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you want to show us? What on earth are you holding? Uh, I, um... Don't end. It's... Don't. No, uh, no. Please don't leave. Don't leave me with these answers. Yes. Something. Don't. Uh, don't yes, just end. Yes. Don't you do it. Something. Don't do it. Incredible. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I didn't hear red guy say credits. Did he say shred it or credits? Oh, there's a good chance he said shred it. Oh, oh my God. I have legitimately the worst like freak chills of my life right now. That ending was actually dreadfully terrifying. God! Dang it! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you couldn't help yourself. What was this episode? What was this episode, guys? Holy smokes. Goodness gracious. This was a doozy of the last episode. Oh my gosh. Wow. We just freaking blasted, huh? We just blasted off. It was so much. I My brain's like fried trying to figure this out. Can we please go back for a second and look at the shredder? I've just realized when he shreds it, it makes a stock dinosaur noise. <laughs> it did. It went... I've, I know for a fact I've heard that in like a video game or two. The only time these images come up is when they had those caveman signs. He did say shred it, by the way. I really thought he said credits. <laughs> oh, just like the show to uh, once again have me mishear something and find it so much funnier. That legitimately made me so uncomfortable. That shot of and his laugh. Dude, Yellow Guy's voice actor. Can we give him credit? Can we give him credit? Because he does some of the best deliveries. His stupid laugh as he shreds it is legitimately horrifying there's something about like them being so stupid but the dread of realizing what they've just done they've destroyed the only answers they'll ever get they'll never get another opportunity to finally be free they're literally shredding freedom right in front of them the answers everything that they could have had if they just didn't switch the batteries wow that legitimately 100 percent gave me the chills it gave me the freaking chills that that was haunting, literally haunting. The laugh he did as they threw away all of their chances for freedom and now have to live in this hell forever because of their selfishness. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Wow. What an episode. <laughs> no! I'm just like him. I like shredding things too. It's so fun. I can't blame him. My mom would do it. She would give me all these papers and go, <laughs> wow. There's something very cathartic about it. I don't know. Probably. Maybe I'm a serial killer. I don't know. Oh, God dang it. You never got any answers about Scrumble and Scrimble and Dimble's name's not even on the thing anymore. Don't know what Leslie's about. I don't know why Yellow Guy's a robot. We could talk about Yellow Guy being a robot, by the way. He's a robot. Uh, or a cyborg. Maybe Yellow Guy's dead from the web series. I still, by the way, I still, by the way, 100% think the web series is connected in some way, but it's not in a way that you think. I don't think they did a full reboot as, as people as speculated, but... Man, I gotta watch this series again. Man, I gotta rewatch this whole series again and see if I can find anything. You know what? Maybe before we end this episode, I will do one last conspiracy, Ryan, but like the ultimate conspiracy, Ryan, where he rewatches all the episodes back and tries to connect all the pieces. Why not? I'll even watch the web series again, see if I can figure out something.
Probably the funniest part about it is uh, there's a good chance the reason the power went out was not because of the battery thing, but because they didn't pay the electric bill. <laughs> now, that's funny. That's funny. That's a good joke. You're right, Leslie. This, uh, this is a pretty funny. This is a pretty dang funny show. I have a feeling that there is a lot of Kojima level puzzles here. I do. I really do. There's something about the symbols and everything that I feel is going to be some insane thing to figure out, like a community puzzle, if you will. Something that takes a Reddit post and a bunch of Redditors, a bunch of brains to come together and try to figure out what the heck is going on here. Other than I think the obvious, them being trapped in a television show, Leslie being some sort of evil puppet master, is Roy not evil? I'm trying to think back on when what Roy did in uh, the web series. He Did he ever do anything evil or was he just always watching? Was he trying to save his son? Is this a domestic dispute? Is the mother, Leslie, a horrible person who's been having her son do uh, television shows and using him for money? Using him, replacing him, making him a little puppet? Brainwashing him? And is Roy trying to save his son by eating a bunch of hillbillies? <laughs> Hey, man, respect if he saved his son by eating some hillbillies. Gotta give a man credit. Gotta give a man credit. They weren't really hillbillies. They just had that, like, creepy, like, sorry, hillbillies. It's just, they, you know, that creepy family vibe of Todd and just, you know, they're more Swedish, which apparently is scarier than hillbilly, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I can't wait to start cracking into some theory videos. I can't wait to crack into your comments. You know what? I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. Conspiracy theory, Ryan, where I rewatch everything and try to figure it out, might be an extra episode in itself where I will also read your comments for this last episode. And we have a big old crack into trying to figure out what in the hell is going on here. Because I think that'd be a really fun idea. <laughs> All right. I'm done with this YouTube business. Finally finished. Don't hug me. I'm scared. Now I can finally live my life happy and free. I never have to record another video ever again. I have to read comments. And it's with a new camera. So that's why it looks different. All right. <laughs> I just got it right now. So if it looks weird or different or off, that's why. I haven't really futz with it. This is the old camera. Hello, old friend. Goodbye, old friend. Time Child is 100% my favorite bit in the entire season. Hopefully, if it gets a second season, Time Child will be a reoccurring gag. Not only do I agree with this comment more than any other comment that has ever been said, even the ones that are very nice to me, but I put this comment in for one reason. The reason that Time Child was there with a bunch of space alcohol is because he's going to teach them about alcoholism because he just went through a thing where it was an alcoholic train doing drugs. Or it's just a joke. I don't know. It's one of the two. Maybe it's connected. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty funny that there's a good chance the reason Time Child showed up was because, you know, it was the... It was supposed to be the progression of them learning about the train and then the train guy also being like he died from doing too much drugs and the episode was going to be an episode about learning about drugs, but instead they left the PSA episode. <laughs> I have no idea if that's what they're going for, it, but I thought that was a funny little touch. Oh, I had a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory, folks. I have a theory. Next season. This is what's going to happen. Duck Guy is going to be the main protagonist. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ryan, you've been a little crazy on the Duck Guy, all right? You said a lot about Duck. You really like the Duck Guys. You've been taking your can of duck soup and just going, ah, woo, and enjoying life. You know, you're right. You're right. Duck Guy is my spirit animal. You know, everybody kept on asking me on my stinking stream, Ryan, what's your fursona? And I said, well, I'm not a furry, so I don't have one. I was wrong. I'm Duck Guy. <laughs> Just bitterly saying things that is funny and mean. But there's a reason why I think Duck Guy will be the main character of this one. In the web series, Red Guy is the one that breaks out. In this one, Yellow Guy is the one to break out. How can you tell it's the same situation? Because if you remember in the web series, what is it that Red Guy sees that makes him have that moment? 
he saw the people controlling the show. So what does that mean? It means that guy's gonna do it next time. Woo! And I hope he like kills them or something. Like, get out of here, you dang people! Oh, he stabbed me in the knee with a shiv, a prison shiv. Mm, that'll teach you. <laughs> Duck guy! I'm telling you, boys. I'm telling you, boys. Duck Guy is going to be the main protagonist in the next one. The next character to see the men behind the scenes. Oh, speaking of theories. So while recording this, I noticed something that I didn't see before. When Yellow Guy left Ye Leslie, the door in the stairway doesn't lead down. It leads up, which means... Leslie was not the top of the house. There's more. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if that's actually, um, maybe they fucked up and they didn't have, it's literally, or it's a loop. Maybe it's a loop. Maybe it's an infinite loop. Either way, I thought it was a cool little thing to bring up. You didn't seem to notice, but when the GPS said that place doesn't exist anymore, it showed the name Clay Hill, which was indeed a wakey wakey reference. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, and it's all a joke. It's all a joke. Now, either a reference, they wanted to connect that in because if you remember correctly, when they did the web series, they had like these random like things that, uh, <laughs> like the guy with the hammer. Remember that guy? Hey, woo, woo. Maybe that guy's at the top floor. I don't know. They love to connect little things. So that's such a cool little reference to the, for the fans to find. That they're pretty much saying, yeah, that, that web series gone. Or maybe, maybe it'll come back. Who knows? Maybe it's actually information. Maybe it's some sort of lore. Who knows? These guys are psychos. So it could be anything. I love how Roy's presence is stronger than just up front. Man has plenty of cameos. In the intro, try pausing just as the camera is panning over the cuckoo clock. Roy is sending a soul-piercing stare through the crack in the wall. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do some Where's Waldo shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I paused that by accident. Oh my god, Roy. What the fuck, dude? Roy, get out of here. You're ruining the song. There's three of us. Three of us. If you're here and I'm here, it's five of us. We are decimating this song. Destroying the fabric of everything that makes the show magical. Before his big reveal in the family, he can be seen creeping by outside the window earlier in the scene. Last time I noticed him was in this one, and I'm not referring to the godly car cameo. During the old man's porter song, the plane that he waves at is uh, being piloted by Roy. Additionally, while in a boat mode, Roy is on all pirate flags. Roy is such a fascinating freaking character in this series. I don't know if Roy is important. I don't know. I legitimately have no idea. I really think there's something about Roy and Leslie because they do seem to be fighting or something. I have no idea. The only time Roy officially shows up in this episode is when he freaking kills the Swedish hillbilly family. So I have no earthly idea where Roy fits into this. Is Roy working with Leslie or against Leslie? I'm kind of thinking Leslie is working against him, but there is one that he missed. Maybe, maybe, maybe CJ missed this, or maybe he just didn't want to do it for spoilers. Either way, he did show up in this episode, and I didn't notice it till the second time watching editing it. But Roy was dead. Does that mean Leslie is in full control now? Is this the final thing that gave Leslie all the power now that Roy is dead? I don't know, but it's fascinating. Maybe this is a sign of old creator uh, stalking the new creator in the uh, new way the show is going. Maybe he's the embodiment of the web series. I don't know. All I know is he's dead now. That's sad. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's sleeping. That's what, that's what happens with darkness. <laughs>
It's interesting to look at this episode and see how much foreshadowing it has in the season finale. Also, you may notice that the woman doing uh, the voice over for Yellow Guy's dream about the neighbors is the same voice at the end they always end up at home. Given the amount of different actors they have available, this is likely isn't a coincidence. I thought this same thing after I was done with the episode. And this is really where it came down to why I think Yellow Guy is either a her creation or her son. But the most important little detail that I thought was very, very interesting is in the narration. How does it end? Leslie letting out a howling scream. She was mortified by seeing Yellow Guy get run over, seeing him die. This show is bringing her kid back to life. I don't know if her actual child got killed, like non-puppet, and she created Yellow Guy as a way to fill in the gap for her dead child. But I would not be surprised if that's where it's going. Why he's a robot, because we did see him die. I don't think that dream was a dream. I think that dream was a flashback. Yellow guy is just the start of you, Hakusho. But I do not think that's a coincidence. I think they did that very much on purpose. I think Leslie's voice in that scene was done 100% on purpose. Also, remember what I said about Roy in the flashback? He wasn't a puppet, guys. He had flesh. Maybe she made a puppet of the man that she loved, including the dog her neighbor <gasps> oh my god did she do that did she base this show on people she knew her son that died Roy her husband or co-creator could be co-creator too that also works in the in the story holy smokes I'm really thinking there's something to this smoke folks I really think if we ever get answers if we don't then it's literally just speculation city and we'll never actually know uh, but I really think there may be something here to the Leslie and Roy story. If you haven't already seen, look up photos of the transport car that was found in the real world. Yo, wait, what? Someone found uh, the car prop that was dumped in the swamp? Whoa, 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 hold on, this is, okay, all right, so this is real, this comment is real, you never know what comments, I, I, by the way, the reason I was starting to wonder if it was real is because I typed in transport car, and I had to go down to find this dang thing, my god, I found it Wednesday 19th October, yo, that's so cool, you know what the worst part is, this person, found the car and showed nothing of the inside just took a picture of it my god as a as a dog me i'm scared fan one i would 100 percent take this and put it in my house that car would be transported to my house forever i would do all reactions inside that car secondly i would check nook and cranes for information probably like here's what the story's about it's about a old lady named Leslie, and she sucks. See, now I know the answers. Now I know exactly what this show is about. <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you for that comment. I don't know if you missed or not. Uh, in the stop motion animation uh, where Roy and Duck are hidden in the house, you can see Lillian Todney. Well, that makes it even more interesting. That makes it really interesting if Todney and Larry from SpongeBob SquarePants were actually a part of Yellow Guy. And maybe, just maybe, they weren't a teacher at all. Maybe they're more important than we anticipated, guys. The reason the duck guy is counting the tiles one by one is actually explained in the sixth episode. If you pay attention, oh my god, he's counting it because it's infinite. What? <laughs> Holy smokes, they really did foreshadow the hell out of this episode. Oh, it's all connected. It's all connected. That's fantastic. Oh, I love that. I know, I sing praise of the show all the time, and it doesn't really need me to sing praises because it shows itself. But this, this is awesome. Any 
form of media that when you go back and it makes you go, oh my God, that stupid throwaway joke meant something or this comment meant something makes it a thousand times better. Any show that when you rewatch it or excited to rewatch it to figure out what's going on is a sign of not just a great show, a masterpiece. So this last comment is actually a really interesting one. I want to hear your opinions on this one. Red, yellow, green. Stop, caution, and go. Red is going to the future, but he should stop. Yellow guy is dumb, but should be smart. Duck is stopped. Fiddling with his area and watching TV when he should pay attention and going. I love this comment, guys. I love this comment because I think this is something that they 100% came up with when they put this episode together. Red, yellow, green. The colors of a stoplight. He's 100% right. Red is going. He's constantly going. Duck Guy is in complete stop and not caring, just completely frozen. Yellow Guy is cautious in the middle. That's awesome. That's an awesome little touch. I bet you a bunch of people did not see that. Though I do notice that you should have said Yellow Guy is cautious. <laughs> he's dumb and smart. I know what you mean, but I don't think that's why he's yellow. I think it's because he's cautious. He's in the middle like the caution middle sign. But that being said, we finished it. We have watched all six episodes of this absolute masterpiece of a series. Not one bad episode in the blot. Just fantastic. This episode did what the original did oh so well and make a mystery that makes you go, I need answers. A good mystery always does this where it makes you not want to end till you can figure out what the hell is going on here. I don't know if that ending is a definitive ending or if this is an ending saying there's going to be more. Like, I'm going to be honest, there absolutely is so many questions that this could easily be a cliffhanger for the next season. God, I hope so. And if it is the case, I guess it really answers it if they were uh, burnt out by the series or not. I want more. It's very rare that you see a masterpiece in this level. Art design. Every shot is like a picture in a museum it legitimately wowed me and not like reaction while like wow a bundle of sticks so many shots so many and not just that not just art not just the creativity itself but the shots the camera work guys the camera work was top tier so many shots made better by the perfect shots the shots up here, the shots down low, the around, just like the shot of the, like the tunnel of him staying down the, the stairs looking up. So many. Even when I said when the plates were falling and that shot down below, there's so many shots like that that you could easily miss if you're not looking for it. But once you see it, you realize how genius these are. I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. This would be the part where I say, well, this is what I think is going on here. But I don't have any idea other than I think Leslie is a crazed puppet master and that maybe uh, she's the one that keeps him in and she's the horrible mother that hates him so much that she doesn't even call him her actual son. Or maybe he's, she's, oh, maybe he's like her stepson because, you know, she's not a yellow puppet. She created Roy and thus she's upset that yellow guy wasn't created by her. So it's like her le uh, illegitimate son or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't no, but I enjoyed every second of it. Oh, also on the stuff they did great comedy. God dang, I don't know who's writing these jokes, but you did a great job. Your British humor, just the good humor in general, out of this world. Even at the very end, the toilet joke to end the jokes, the freaking toilet joke. Fantastic. Of course, I thought the last joke was Red Guy going, yay, credits. <laughs> I really thought that was the ending. I thought just in the middle of a serious scene, they were just going to throw that in there. They didn't. He said shred it. As far as morals, by the way, I feel like there is a moral in here besides just the weirdness of it all. I think it is increased want for knowledge can put you down different paths. I don't know what the first one would say with the long arms and the kind of creepy nature of them. But certainly a second one was saying that was showing what would happen if you search for knowledge so much that you just want stuff for you to increase your happiness at the cost of other people's happiness and 
like the tortured nature of like experimenting and stuff it really is talking about the dangers of uh looking for knowledge that it can go too far and it become it can become sadistic and evil but i also feel it's a very small bit <laughs> in the story i think the mystery is really what held it up instead of uh the what, what it's trying to say like the other ones but from bottom of my heart thank you everybody for this one uh this uh this, this series will always mean a lot to me uh in a time when i i was feeling like giving up about youtube and reactions and just feeling like uh just spinning my tires that uh, i'm happy that the series i've been looking forward to since i did the first episode as my second video ever i've been waiting for the series so it uh it feels cathartic to me and it really makes me happy to know that this series did as well as it did. Seeing Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared has meant a lot to me for a long time now. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to the people who watch these videos. And thank you to the creators for making a series that truly changed my life. And one that made me feel every type of emotion you could ever think of. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I love you dearly. Bye, everyone.